day four, Adventures by Disney. We are headed to the Ben and Jerry's factory. Oh, Let's have some ice cream. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> We started off by getting Chunky Monkey pins. Got a quick restroom break, a few photos, and here is Ben and Jerry's. Welcome to Ben and Jerry's. Hi, how are you? Welcome to Ben and Jerry's. Thank you. Here we are. Here are the Ben and Jerry's top 10 flavors. Half-baked, Cherry Garcia, Chocolate Fudge Brownie, Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough, ton the Tonight Dough, number six, Fish Food, number seven, Strawberry Cheesecake, number eight, Americone Dream, number nine, Chunky Monkey, and coming in at number 10, Brownie Batter Core. That's kind of cool, I love it. At the end of our Ben and Jerry's experience, we get to have any ice cream we want. And I chose this chocolate chip cookie dough. It's gonna be amazing, let's try it. Mm. Very fun day with Adventures by Disney at Baron Ben and Jerry's. We're headed up the hill to the Ben and Jerry's Flavor Graveyard. Here we go. Mom's already made it up. Let's see what we've got. The Ben and Jerry's Flavor Graveyard. All of the flavors that have been put to rest are here with their gravestone. Now, that's my jam. 2014 to 2015. Only one year. I guess guests did not like those. Our next stop, we're going to take a short hike. We've picked up a local guide. We're in Stowe, Vermont, and we are going to walk to a picnic spot on a trail. So excited about that. Smuggler's Notch. We're headed on Long Trail South. Here we go. talk about beavers but there are other also other animals that really love the vet, the, the wetlands you heard that V that's because I was born in Sweden and I lived in the US for 36 years um, you know we have of course frogs toads uh, turtles birds um, and moose we just found a beaver dam. Pretty awesome. The wind is blowing. And we're looking for beavers. <laughs> we're taking a short hike up the trail and our local guide is letting us know different things that we see nature-wise along the way. And then if you continue on that bike path, Jill, you put the next foot down and I will be... We're the leaving the long trail and then we're going to go back down for a picnic lunch. So you guys are going to 
going to walk over towards Liz. She's going to acquaint you with the picnic setup. We're going to have picnic. Right here, you need them. Perfect. We're going to give everybody a little sanitizer coming back from our home. Thanks, Tiff. You're welcome. So now we're going to walk over here and have lunch with our other friends. Liz, you got lunch for us. Look at this. How yummy is this? Box lunches, apples, oranges, Coke, love it, Mickey Mouse antibacterial wipes, and orders. We pre-ordered everything, so ABD takes great care of us. Yes, they do. Our guides often play games with our guests in between time. So we are for, just had our lunch and now we are axe throwing. All right, axe throwing. Here we go. Woo! Our next stop is our first covered bridge. Our local guide is going to tell us about the the covered bridges. Um, there are a lot of covered bridges in Vermont, actually over a hundred, and we we have the most covered bridges per acreage of anywhere in the U.S. Or a stop at our first covered bridge here in Vermont. We were told that they covered the bridges to keep the wood and nice and the elements. Our guests are taking photos and walking through. It's actually pretty musty when you walk through. It's beautiful though. I'm gonna walk through here. You can see there were actual cars coming through earlier. Our next covered bridge is the Brookdale Bridge, built in 1964. Let's walk through. Pretty awesome. Our third and final bridge for today. This is Goldbrook Bridge. Goldbrook Covered Bridge. <laughs>